It's not a sunrise. Water is such an incredible gift. The mystery of water. It's a mystery. Many things about water. Many things about our natural world are a mystery for science. We know a lot about water now. Oh, it's teeming over there. It's not a sunrise over there. <laughs> That's not a sunrise either. We had a wedding yesterday evening here, a Maronite couple who were also displaced from, they live up in, normally in Kiryat Shmona, which is a town up in the very north on the Lebanese border. And right now they're she was living in Tiberias and he was also, I'm not sure if he was displaced. It sounds like an alarm because of flooding. Here's a, uh, I have an apparent out walking here in the morning. Maybe somebody couldn't sleep well. So today we're out looking for donkeys. That's what Saul is doing when he when he encounters the prophet Samuel. We got some flooding down here as well. There are actually wild donkeys up near the multiplication of the loaves in the west of the Mount of Beatitudes, up there in that, in that hill area. So we're out looking for donkeys. Saul is from the tribe of, of Benjamin. And he said he's the least, his family is the least of the families of the tribe of Benjamin. And the tribe of Benjamin is the least of the tribes. And yet that's the one God calls to be king. God's beauty can reflect everywhere. His power can reflect everywhere, also in the weakest. Remember the story of that woman, and she was being unjustly condemned, and it was a, a boy who said, I don't want to be part of this. This is unjust. God speaks and God works through the simplest creatures, through the 
most humble people, the lowest profile. And also people that we call outcasts, that we, that we don't want anything to do with them. And today we have the story of Matthew, the tax collector. And he's obviously in the system of, of Herod and the Romans. And Jesus calls him to be his disciple. And he'll go on to write the Gospel of Matthew. This is very interesting how Jesus works and maybe it's different than the way we see people. So maybe somebody needs to change. <laughs> maybe we need to have a new approach to people, a different approach, a different, a different thought about people. Maybe we need to be questioned on how we see certain people and how we judge them. And also the hope we can have for people. You know, we have that, that beautiful proverb or saying that every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. So we shouldn't take away the future from sinners to open up the future for sinners, to open up a door. And it's a heart of mercy that does that. A heart capable of greatness, of love. birds seem to like that tree over there. They're dancing for you. I see a cascade of water over here. I can even hear it from here. That's how I noticed. And then Jesus shows up at dinner with Matthew. He invites him, Levi invites him to a party. And this irritates a lot of people. It's interesting our mechanisms of thinking and reacting to others. And the challenge it is, you know, with all our education today and all our communication, the widespread movements of writing off whole sectors of people. We claim to be understanding and And nevertheless, we can, can write off people. We 
this is all underwater all last winter and spring let's see if the lake fills up here Before we just had this here and we ripped it out for the big flood uh, we had on the 23rd of December just before Christmas Eve it was taking the water from that big pipe and then the water was so intense it emptied out all this whole crater here we had to unblock our property it was getting completely flooded So may the grace of God be flooding into your life, pouring into your life. You can see from here it's raining over there near the Mount of Beatitudes. Although probably not at the Mount of Beatitudes itself, but very close. Maybe a little. I love the sound of waterfalls. So we have a lot of inspiration today to help other people also, you know, in the way we talk about people. When people make a very negative comment about somebody, we can say, really? Are we, I don't know, what's the right word to say? That's a good question. What's the right word to say when people make a really negative comment about another person? Maybe to say, well, what's their thinking or have you spoken to them or Sometimes it's only by hearsay people talk and exclude others. They don't know the people personally. And the way we react to people says a lot about our hearts and what we're interested in. And sometimes it's posturing socially because if we're condemning somebody that's very bad then it looks like we're better. Let's pray for that grace today. We have a renewal in the way we see people. There are different angles for seeing people. With this mighty root of this tree here. So people, we leave it like that for today. How we think about people and see people. And God often surprises us the way he does things through people we didn't expect. God bless you, see you later alligators. <laughs>